Are you thinking about where you know this gorgeous woman from? Is it from TV or a magazine? Perhaps it's from some kind of a show? Keep watching to find out and put your brain at ease. Before we continue, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. From ballerina to lingerie enthusiast. Ditta has been in love with vintage things ever since she was a little girl. Born in Michigan, far away from Hollywood and its glamour, her mother excited her with the fascination of films by buying her clothes to dress up and pretend that she is an actress from the 40s. Since she was a little girl she trained as a ballerina and by the age of 13, she was so good that she was a solo dancer at a ballet company in her hometown. Being young and not knowing what else to do with her life she thought that being a ballerina was something she would want to pursue full-time but looking back at it now she realizes that she extended her talent as much as she could by the age of 15. Her passion for lingerie started when her mom took her bra shopping for the first time and she was disappointed how simple and without any pattern it was. She wanted the beautiful lingerie she saw in magazines and to look like the models in the pictures. When she was 15, she got a job in a lingerie store where she spent most of her money buying corsets and basques and she never looked back from that, incorporating it into her style even today. Playboy spelled her name wrong. The second she decided to try and make it in the show business world, she wanted to change her name. Originally named Heather Renee Sweet, she went with Ditta after Ditta Parlow, who was a silent movie actress. Her first gig was posing for a Playboy cover in 2002 and because the company needed her full name to pay her, she found the first phone book she could get her hands on and went through the surnames until Von Trees caught her eye. However, only telling the Playboy her name and not spelling it out, they made a mistake writing her name as Von Tees. She liked it because it was unique and easy to remember so she decided to keep it. The Queen of Burlesque even though you might think how many people out there could exist without knowing who Ditta is as she isn't famous just for one thing, most people know her as the Queen of Burlesque, the title she got since she started to perform in 1992. Ditta is best known for performing neo-burlesque which is an updated style of classic burlesque and her helping its popularity. Some of Von Teese's best performances are The Opium Den, Lazy, and Bird of Paradise, however, one of her most famous performances had the largest feather fans in the world and can now be seen in Hollywood's Museum of Sex. From adult films to music videos. Besides burlesque, Ditta appeared in many soft adult and fetish films and had several roles in mainstream movies like The Death of Salvador Dali, which won many awards on film festivals. If you think you have seen her somewhere else as well, you are right because Von Tees appeared in a lot of music videos, the most known being Redundant by Green Day, and Marilyn Manson's mob scene. Many interviewers asked her through the years why she never ventured into the world of movies more seriously to which she always replied that just because she is famous, she doesn't have to appear on every screen only appearing as a guest star on several TV shows. Fashion had a big impact on her. Working on burlesque shows and shooting a magazine cover here and there kept Ditta close to fashion. She can be seen each year sitting in the front rows of various fashion shows from Christian Dior to Jean Paul Gaultier. The latter had a big impact on Von Tees because his style is very much like hers. Since her love for lingerie started she admired the designer and was a dream come true when she got a chance to meet him and befriend him and even modeled some of his pieces on a catwalk. And speaking of fashion shows, Ditta's fashion success doesn't stop here. She was a catwalk model for several fashion shows in Los Angeles and Milan. She worked for designers like Vivian Westwood and Richie Rich and was a spokesmodel for MAC Cosmetics. Talk about making a real impact on the fashion industry. Ditta doesn't need a stylist. As we all know, most stars have their own stylist, more than one usually. Ditta, however, does all her makeup and hair alone. How impressive is that? If you are wondering how that is possible or why she is doing it, the answer is simple, she trusts herself the most. She said that she hired a stylist once and when they matched the wrong shoes with the wrong pair of jeans she knew that she was better off alone. Besides that, it gives her pleasure and when someone compliments her she gets a confidence boost knowing she put in the effort herself. Von Follies by Von Tees. 
It doesn't come as a surprise at all from what we have found out about Ditta so far that not only did she work with Wonderbra on a lingerie collection, but she has developed her own line of it and has a company called Von Follies. Besides working with Art Deco on a makeup collection she also has a line of fragrances that was first released in 2011. With them, she wanted to give out scents to make every woman feel glamorous and put something else on the shelf that isn't vanilla or something that smells like an exotic fruit. She wants to show women that they should feel confident in their skin and feel like they can conquer everything and we believe she achieved just that. The love of everything vintage. This late in the video, we are all aware that Ditta adores everything from the 40s to vintage clothing. Clothes, however, aren't the only vintage thing she loves. She is a collector of vintage cars, makeup brushes, and china, she especially loves to collect tea sets. If you can imagine her home, it is known that not a single wall is just white and she has a whole room just for shoes. Ditta loves all things pretty when it comes to home decor and likes to have things that make her home more beautiful. Even though many collectors keep things in boxes and on shelves, Von Tees, however, uses all her teacups and dishes she admires so much. We always say that as long as something makes you happy do it as you please and Ditta is doing just that, enjoying her hobby to the fullest. Marilyn Manson went from her fan to husband. There is a short list of people who can say that they have been someone's fan and later married them. Marilyn Manson is definitely one of those people as he always admired Ditta from afar. The couple met while Von Tees was invited to be in one of Marilyn's music videos and they started dating in 2001 on his birthday. They were together for three years before Manson proposed to her and they got married in a very private ceremony in 2005. Of course, it wouldn't be Ditta getting married if she wasn't wearing a Vivian Westwood wedding gown with some Christian Louboutins. Unfortunately, their marriage only lasted a year before Ditta filed for divorce because she could no longer agree with Marilyn's lifestyle. She said that she tried to make it work and talk out their issues but Manson didn't listen to her. Everything happens for a reason and even though their marriage didn't work, Ditta was still happy for the bigger portion of their relationship and that counts for something. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video. What is your favorite thing about Ditta and have you seen any of her burlesque shows? Comment down below and let us know and check out our other videos for more fun content.